First look at Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11, security patches November 1st, 2020. The kernel they are using is no name kernel from Shiva and this of course is a port from OnePlus 8 Oxygen OS 11 beta. An important thing to note here is that this is a port from a beta build of Oxygen OS which means expect bugs. All the bugs which are present from OnePlus in Oxygen OS 11 beta for the OnePlus 8 should be present in this build. Now as you can see out of the box Android 11 Easter egg cat game along with bubbles is working absolutely fine. Do note that WhatsApp does not support Android 11 bubbles at the time of recording this video. Out of the box you do get OnePlus launcher. Here are the recents. Bam everything is smooth and fast. No issues and no jitters or no lags. Then if you swipe towards the left, you can of course access your Google feed and this of course is customizable. Then the volume panel is on the correct side. You do have the option of expanded volume panel and this button here at the bottom is for your live caption and this here is to switch between the output of the phone sound. Now if you press and hold, you can of course access your home settings and you have swipe down access wherein you can customize whether you want to access oneplus shelf or do you want to access your quick settings and notifications you can disable your google feed double tap to lock is there you can configure your launcher layout do you want home screen only or do you want home screen and application drawer both then you can customize your quick setting gestures your icon pack hidden space yes hidden space works absolutely fine on this build and of course swipe down for notifications working absolutely fine double tap to sleep works double tap to wake is broken on this kernel right now and while we're talking about kernels the kernels which are supported by this build are mentioned in the pinned comment and i highly recommend that you read the pinned comment on my videos because they do have very important information and anything which is answered in the pinned comment will not be answered in the comments Next up, you do have three finger screenshot. Bam, works like a boss. Press and hold on the screenshot and you can now share it as well. Press on more and you can now pin applications to your quick share menu. Here it is, messages was pinned to the quick share menu. Next up, let us have a look at our quick setting tiles. But before that, yes, you do have Android 11 notification history. What is missing in OnePlus's build of Android 11 is the zoom effect when you access your notifications. You do have the blur effect, but the zoom effect is something which is missing. You can now get back to the quick setting tiles. So here it is. These are the quick setting tiles which you have. And in case you want to add more, you can edit and here are the different options which you can add then we can have a look at the screen recorder so unfortunately you do not get the android 11 screen recorder which is going to let you record internal audio and microphone at the same time you get oneplus's own implementation of the screen recorder now in terms of google assistant i did download the assistant app from the play store but me personally i could not get google assistant to work on this build if you were able to do so do let me know via comments below and we can add that information to the pinned comment on this video next up we can head over to settings wi-fi and network but before that you will see that they do have the new oxygen os 11 ui which is of course inspired inspired is a good word to use i would say copied from samsung one ui but back into wi-fi and network tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you have the new disconnect button in the center and you also have the option to select auto connect on a per wi-fi basis then going over into 
display so you do have adaptive brightness works absolutely fine then you can configure your sleep go into advanced you can configure the screen calibration here are your different options if you choose advanced you have amoled white gamut srgb and display p3 and of course you can make your display cold or warm and yes these options are working absolutely fine then in case you want to hide the notch you go into front camera display area select hide front camera there it is it took some time for the rounded corners to appear but they did appear and while we are talking about the notch you will notice that the items are not aligned perfectly which is a known issue in this build and then in case you want to choose on a per app basis what applications are displayed in full screen you have that option for that as well then you have vision comfort you do have reading mode as well with two options mono effect and chromatic effect dark mode is also here and with android 11 you can configure dark mode to start on and off at a custom time range as well you have vibrant color effect as well in case you want to enable it go into ambient you have lift up always on display contextual info all these options along with horizon light do work absolutely fine on this build then you can configure the font size display scaling in status bar you can configure your battery style these are the different options in case you want to see battery percentage network speed is also present along with the option of configuring your time and what all icons you want to see in your status bar you have toggles for all those options auto rotate screen and screen saver is also present then you have customization so for you to get the option for canvas you do have to download the canvas aod app from oneplus which is linked in the description of this video once you do that you should be able to set up your canvas always on display you can of course set your wallpapers now i do personally recommend that you use the gallery application to set your wallpaper so you do not have any issues with the proximity sensor in terms of clock on ambient display yes these are the different options you have and you do have the new insight one it does work absolutely fine and it does look pretty dope then you can customize your horizon light as well next up you can customize your accent color go into customization you can enter a color code as well in case you want to or use the sliders then you can configure your system icons here are the different options which you have for that icon pack can also be changed you have oxygen and hydrogen os icon packs in here along with the option of changing the fonts so you have roboto and oneplus slate use whichever one you want to next up you have sound and vibration so in sound and vibration you do have live caption works absolutely fine do not disturb is from android 11 which can be configured on a people app and alarm basis and in case you are looking for the option wherein you can set your vibration patterns that option has moved a little so you'll have to go into phone ringtone and then you'll go into vibration pattern and intensity and here are the vibration pattern options which you are looking for when your phone is ringing next up we have buttons and gestures so of course you do not have the alert slider this option is not going to work go into navigation bar and gestures two different options either use the three buttons or use the navigation gestures and in case you want to hide the bottom bar you have a toggle for that as well and there it is the bar just appeared back because i disabled that option go into quick gestures you do have flip to mute we all already checked out three finger screenshot raise to answer and switch is also there double tap to wake as i mentioned earlier is broken and of course these music control and drawing the patterns won't work on the poco f1 then you can configure what do you want to do when you double click the power button none or camera similarly press and hold the power button do you want power menu or do you want google assistant and before i forget in case you want to configure the option wherein you can see the cards of your payment stuff go into power menu and here it is cards and passes along with device controls make sure these options are enabled in case you want to use or play around with the android 11 easter egg next up we have apps and notifications let us select the youtube application and then we can go into permissions go into location here it is three different options for your location permission and you also have the toggle to remove the permissions if an application isn't used for some time and this duration is of course 90 days in 
Android 11. Then if you go into mobile data and Wi-Fi, you can of course stop this application from using your Wi-Fi data or your normal data as well. Next up, if you go into notifications and then tap on advanced, here are the different options which you're looking for in Android 11. So you have notification history and bubbles customization along with priority conversations is also present in this build. Moving over to security and lock screen. Fingerprint works like a boss on this build. Face unlock is present. Unfortunately, it is using the normal camera. It is not using the IR camera on the POCO F1. Next up, we have battery. So in battery, those of you who are looking for the SOT on this build, I have this build installed for one day 21 hours and as you can see i do not have any excessive battery drain i watched a few youtube videos and everything seems to be working absolutely fine on this build next up we can head over to utilities so in utilities you do have quick launch now this is not going to work on the poco f1 then you do have parallel apps or dual apps works absolutely fine along with app locker also working without any issues you have pocket mode and you can of course schedule your power on and power off moving over to system and then we can go into developer options in case you have enabled developer options you do get wireless adb debugging with android 11 and you also have the option to show the refresh rate on the top left of your screen in case you want to do that now in terms of youtube media playback everything is pretty smooth there are no jitters or no lags and live caption also works absolutely fine on this build in terms of your status bar media controls works absolutely fine you can of course switch the output between different devices like say you have a bluetooth speaker connected you can switch between bluetooth speaker and phone speaker without any issues in terms of safety net i do have magisk manager installed right now my device is not rooted and safety net is passing out of the box without any issues there it is you can see evaluation type is basic Safety net is a pass, which means I should be able to use my banking apps without any issues. Those of you who want to root your device, make sure you enable Magisk Hide and also hide the root access from Play Store and Play Services and then clear data for Play Services and you should be able to pass safety net. Then we can have a look at the applications. So yes, you do have the new weather application present in this build and yes, if it is raining somewhere, it is going to give you the rain effect. Same applies for snow as well. You also have the new gallery application. Here it is, the one with collections and explore and different features which they have added with Oxygen OS 11. And yes, you do have the new Zen mode as well, which you can share with your friends in case you want to. So here it is, Zen mode, and you have five different theme options for zen mode in case you want to invite your friends you can of course create a room and go into zen mode with your friends now the build does not come with any gcam ports out of the box however i have linked a few gcam ports in the pinned comment on this video which should work absolutely fine on this build drm info as you can see widevine support is present security is l1 we can of course go to the play store and check if netflix app is available for us and as you can see netflix app is available unfortunately i do not have netflix account so in case one of you checks whether it's working with hd support or not do let us know so that we can add that information to the pinned comment anx camera will not work on this build so those of you who are fans of xiaomi's camera my recommendation to you is stick to MIUI because ANX camera is not going to work on this build. In terms of smoothness, well, the ROM is pretty smooth. I haven't noticed any jitters, any lags, nothing like that. As you can see, switching between the applications is pretty smooth as well. Recents, absolutely fast, no issues, no jitters, no lags. The only issue which I have faced is that sometimes the device does not wake up, in which case, you do have to perform a hard reboot and that i think is a downside but as i mentioned earlier in this video most of the bugs in this build are because of the base build which is oxygen os 11 from the oneplus 8 that in itself is a beta build and everybody knows how good xiaomi and oneplus are with their updates so no surprises there and those of you who do want to try out oxygen os 11 
this of course is a pretty good port for that and there it is peeps that was our first look at oxygen os 11 based on android 11 from the oneplus 8 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you